Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to integrate audio and video calling functionality in a filter app. So to do so, we are going to use Zico Cloud. As I already told you, Zico Cloud is a platform that provides us APIs and SDKs to create communication apps like voice calling, video calling, chat app, streaming app. We have also created a video calling, but in this video, we are going to learn how to integrate a voice calling in a filter app so first you have to create your account in Zico cloud it is free to use you can create your account and when you first create your account you will get 10,000 free minutes to use in a communication apps so from here you can create your account it is very simple to create your account and and you don't have need to enter credit card details it is free to use and you will get 10,000 free minutes so I have already created my account I will log in so this is the dashboard of zico cloud and uh, from here projects project man projects management so here are the all projects that i already created and you can create your new project from here so i will use this uh, old one project for my app and uh, we will need uh, app id and uh, app sign in so these uh, both we are going to use in our filter app so first of all we are going to need two libraries so we were we will go to pub.dev and search here uh, zigo cloud pre-built call ui kit pre-built call i have already created a project in filter So that's one. Add this uh, in your pubspec.yml file. And uh, second one is uh, Zigo Cloud Signaling Plugin. Add also this library, this package. And do pub filter pub get. You can see here, this is the demo of uh, video calling or voice calling and uh, it also give us the source code that you can use so this is the basic code that you can use in your app to create audio or video calling basically Zico Cloud is also providing us a UI kit for audio or video calling so this is a great benefit of Zico Cloud it provides us APIs SDKs and also provides UI kits so we don't need to create a UI from the scratch so first of all we have to add some permissions so copy this permission permissions and we will add to our project android app src main and android manifest.xml and paste here and uh, go to build.gradle and change this uh, compiled SDK version to 33 and uh, min SDK version 
to 30 21 so these settings are important to do otherwise your app will not run so we have installed our packages and add permissions to our project so let's code this code our app So first of all we will create a utils file and in this file we are going to save app id and app sign in. So I will create a class utils static and app id. So here we are going to save app, our app id and static string app sign in so go to your zigo cloud account and copy these app id and paste here and app sign in also copy this one and best here so we are going to use these uh, utils uh, app id and, and uh, app sign in in our project so first of all we will import material dot dot and so let me write the basic code of Flutter straightful widget sorry we are going to use stateless for my app and we are going to use material app home home page straightless home page and we are going to use scaffold and import the dart math package is math and uh, here here we will generate the random user id final string local user id math dot random uh, next enter have to a string so this is the local id of user data we are going to use In final we are going to use controller for the text field Call ID text control text editing controller in the body we are going to use center widget and a padding agent sets dot symmetric horizontal 10 and uh, in this we are going to use a row main axis alignment center cross axis alignment 
सेंट्रल सॉरी क्रास क्रास एक्सिस अलाइनमेंट एंड हियर वी यूज एक्सपेंडेड एंड टेक्स टू फॉर्म फील्ड we are going to use this controller and decoration and label text join the call by id and a button elevated button child text join so when user press on the join button it will navigate to the calling screen call screen navigate to all push material page how to so first of create a call page widget and uh, so first create this this stateless call page and find the string call id constructor uh, required this dot call id so when we click on elevated button uh, join button it will call the it will go to the call page call screen and uh, here we pass the call id that will be that will come from text controller text form field so here we are going to use safe area and child is equal cloud as you go ui get pre-built call so that's a that is coming from the these libraries that we have installed packages so api id will be come from utils that we have already saved app sign in utils dot app sign in user id that we are generating generating look user id is we are generating local user id username for example user local user id and call id is call id that is coming from here text editing text form field and config zigo to uh, zigo you like it pre-built call config that so here we are going to use one on one video call or one on voice call so we have already created a video call and in this video we are going to use this one on one voice call only on only on only self in room context navigator 
डा ऑफ कॉन्टेक्स्ट पॉप सो आवर एप इज रेडी सो लेट्स रन दिस सो हेयर आवर एप इज रेडी लेट्स चेक इट एंड जस्ट ट्राइल इन मी रेंडम आई डी एंड ज्वाइन so it's working fine and uh, you can check it on two real devices then it will work i have only one emulator so it's working fine so that is the benefit of jigo cloud you can create your own communication apps within few minutes and uh, it is free to use to create your account and uh, you can you will get 10000 free minutes and it will also provide you all the apis so that's all for today thanks